Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Akim, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Back with another lesson. It's going to be a pretty quick lesson. I don't want to focus on this one particular prophecy. That's A, man. <laughs> it's right around the corner and it's right at the door. All right. What you see now is uh, the implementation of uh, the CBDC. All right. Which stands for Central Bank Digital Currency, which is the new wave. And it's the new way because uh, the prophecy I'm going to get is that Mark, that Mark of the Beast spoken about in the book of Revelation. All right, that's a very, very important prophecy, and that's uh, that's key to let you know where we're at as far as uh, in the timeline of the end of this kingdom. All right, now this is from investing.com. It says Nigerian uh, caps ATM withdrawals at $45 a day to push CBDC. Nigeria is taking drastic steps to push digital forms of payment, including its own central bank digital currency. This includes dramatically slashing the withdrawal limit on ATM. So if you have cash and money in the bank out there in Nigeria, they're going to cap your ass at $45 a day. All right. Now, they're just having Nigerian do this for what? To see how to gauge how the public resist or go along with it. All right. All these banks are intertwined. They all work with each other. And this is nothing more than a trial run. All right. Before this thing uh, goes uh, uh, global so you can understand because CBDCs is being uh, implemented and talked about all over the world. All right. This is one of the steps to get everybody into that digital form of money, which uh, eventually is going to be implemented and uh, basically put inside of you. OK, it's going to be put inside of you in the form of a chip. But first, they got to get you used to not having any type of cash anymore. All right. It says uh, on Tuesday, the Central Bank of Nigeria issued a direct directive reducing the amount of money Nigerians can withdraw daily from ATMs. Nigerians can now withdraw just 20,000 or 20 in or about forty five dollars, which I guess that is their currency from uh, their accounts per day. Weekly withdrawals are capped at one hundred thousand in or $225 for individuals and uh, for corporations, which is about $1,000 <laughs> uh, for corporations, all right? Individuals that want to withdraw cash beyond the cap limit will be hit with a 5% fee. So you can't even you can't even get your money out, man. Or you're going to get taxed <laughs> on taking the money out, all right? So this is really to persuade you not a, to use cash anymore. And this is a, you haven't seen anything yet. These things will be implemented uh, in all different societies, but of course they're going to start with, uh, you know, <laughs> Nigeria. It says uh, the CBN noted that this measure is part of an effort to promote the use of digital payments in the country. These include Nigerian central bank digital currencies, the E, uh, the E -Net Nara. Customers should be encouraged to use alternative channels, internet banking, mobile banking apps, USSD cards, POS, E Nara, etc., to conduct their banking transactions. CM, CNB's director of banking supervision, Aruna Mustafa, said Nigerian Nigerian government prefers e Nara over cash. So that's their official stance, man. All right. The hell with being anonymous with cash. We have to know exactly what you're buying. All right. Because soon they're going to be able to program these uh, this digital currency, what you can buy, when you can buy it. All right. The amount you can buy. So on and so forth. All right. Full body total control. So let's uh, let's grab a couple of scriptures and that'll be it. The first one I'm going to get is Revelation. We're going to stay in Revelation, Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell and sat and fell at his feet to worship him. Right. This is John the Revelator. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Right. It's a spirit of prophecy. So everybody that calling on Jesus all day, they never talk about prophecy, man. Your vocab Malone's, uh, Pastor Gino Jennings, all these guys, man. They never deal with the prophecies. The prophecies are very, very important, right? Because the spirit of the understanding of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Moving this thing forward and looking uh, kingdom bound towards the end. All right? Because this thing is coming, like it or not. All right? Right before our eyes. You see? Let's get another scripture. 
Next scripture I'm going to get is the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and to the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having a great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So you see the pickup and the talks about digital currency. Right now they didn't crash the crypto, the crypto thing, right? Bitcoin for other people that don't understand it's they got more different ones than Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is the first one. And then crash the prices or whatever. But they want to bring in their thing. Okay? The bank digital currency. <laughs> so all these things are intertwined because really they just want to put in legislation to uh, basically uh, putting rules over the digital currencies. But really, at the end of the day, they want to usurp all of them with their own. All right. So don't be surprised if you see the price of that shit going back up and the way you cash out. Now, I don't know if they're going to I speak as a man, but the way you would cash out of that shit when they send the price back up is, hey, you can cash out. But you come into our come to the American CBDC, the digital dollar. All right. <laughs> That's some shit Esau would do and snatch up all the liquidity and get you. Oh, this is a new system. We made money in this system. Right. So that's one way that uh, they could possibly do this thing. But there's a myriad of ways uh, they're going to do it. But it's all going to lead to this very last prophecy. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm going to just finish it off. But this is the it's in investing.com. You can go back and read the rest of the article. But yeah, this is a this is tell this is telling man that you have uh, a this bank, the central bank doing this. Meaning they had to get approval from the other central banks. You see, this is not by accident. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 13 and 16. And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand and in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark for the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. So without that digital mark which is going to be that chip implant, uh, you will not be able to participate in society. Okay? Everything is going to be uh, systemized, put on a so-called database slash blockchain, and you're going to be tracked, <laughs> watched, and accounted for every move and action you make. You see? And this Mark of the Beast is basically that last, this, this cattle brand, that the elite of the society is going to use to brand you their property, right? So no more, uh, you know, being anonymous with cash. Those days are going to be over a uh, sooner than you think, man. And they're kicking it off in, in, in Nigeria, man. Right. But this thing is going to spread like a uh, wildfire and you're going to see more and more talk about it. Hey, in a couple in a, in the coming months. Right. But that's the point. I want to give all glory, praises and honor to Yahweh by Shai. Shalom next time.